now for class 6 exercise 11 B question number 3 determine if the following are in proportion 15 comma 45 comma 40 comma 120 these are given comma comma and we have to check whether this pattern you cannot exchange the values how pa the pattern given this pattern is in proportion or not that you have to check so 15 is to 45 I have done 15 is to 45 is 1 is to 3 40 is to 120 is 1 is to 3 so they are in proportion okay again alternate method what is alternate method that product of extremes equal to product of means product of extremes 15 and 120 is 1800 and 45 into 40 is 1800 so both are same as product of extremes equal to product of means they are in proportion so I have written do any one method any one method you will do by you, you will uh, do to solve this question number three not both any one which one you find easier that method you will use to solve the question number three so remaining question will be homework for you and you have to send the, these homeworks in my telegram number question number four question number four is what again they are in proportion or not if they are in proportion then you have to show product of extremes and product of means and if they are not in proportion that no need to show so let us see 25 is to 1 25 centimeter is to 1 centimeter that means in ratio 25 is to 1 and 40 rupees 40 is to rupees 160 so on cancellation we get 1 is to 4 so 25 is to 1 and 1 is to 4 these two are different ratios so naturally they are not in proportion okay they are not in proportion clear okay now it is d number 20 percent is to 40 percent and 25 sweets is to 75 sweets okay now see 20 percent is to 40 percent so ratio is 1 is to 2 and 25 sweets to it's 75 sweets ratio is 1 is to 3 so again they are not in proportion so remaining questions will be homework for you two two are done and the remaining questions will be homework for you now question number five if four liter of petrol cost rupees 248 how many liters of petrol can be purchased for rupees 434 you have to solve this by using by using this proportionality method you can solve it by using the unitary method also but here but here we will solve it by proportionality method so let the required quantity of petrol be x okay let the required quantity of petrol be x so 4 liter of petrol so 4 is to 248 4 is to 248 and the required quantity x x is to 434 Again, product of, product of extremes equal to product of means. The product of extreme is 4 is to 343, 4 is to 343. Product of means 248 is to x, 248 is to x, into x. Now, x equal to 4 into 434 by 248. On calculation, cancellation and all, we get 7. So, x equal to 7 liters. What is our required answer? That is 7 liters.